You really want me to do a review of 2022, show you more videos of war and crimes against humanity in Ukraine, Iran? Do you want me to lament about inflation, make some jokes about the British Tories, partying Boris and Liz Truss, the US Supreme Court revoking women's constitutional right to abortion, kiwis in droughts around the world, boring, and it makes me sad, as humanism still isn't a global and main guideline. So many resources, money, lives are wasted for silly and dogmatic egomaniacs. Some good news though, Victoria's Secret features a model with Down syndrome. More Americans are smoking marijuana than cigarettes. The first person of color heads the British government. Ownership of a California redwood forest is being returned to indigenous guardianship. Scientists may have cured HIV in a woman for the first time. The world surpassed one terawatt of installed solar energy capacity. The Mattel company unveiled the Dane Good Old Bobby, the first in its inspiring women's series, made with recycled ocean-bound plastics. After nearly going extinct in the region, as many as 150 fin whales were seen feeding off the coast of Antarctica. And after years of deadly conflict, Ethiopia's civil war agreed to stop fighting. The first nuclear fusion experiment to achieve an energy gain has been carried out by scientists. So there is still hope for a long, long way to go. Let's hope that more on Putin dies of a heart attack and Russia leaves Ukraine. Inflation should come down after that. And if we all praise humanism, the year 2023 could be a better one. Happy New Year!